Hello YouTube, I'm Indy Kebab and welcome to my first ever video that has been requested. So uh, in this video we are going to, well I'm going to show you how to uh, use your stream deck as a digital mixer commander for the voice meter potato, not banana potato, that's the latest one, it's good. So uh, let's get right on it, first let me get to here there we go i i'm not gonna edit this or anything this is just gonna be a simple run through so this is my setup and in this setup let me let me just carry this a little bit there we go let me let me let me just carry my face a little bit there we go good job uh so uh so i have four virtual inputs here uh these all go different ways i'll show you uh, hardware input one is VB audio virtual cable that this one you can get for free then uh, second free in, uh, free virtual cable you can get is if you install voice mod it also adds a free virtual cable to your signal chain so that's a second and then you got a third input this is for VB audio cable cable a uh, this is only donation where you have to donate to VB audio for this I highly suggest those are, those guys are amazing and they do uh, they do deserve uh, some money for this and then same likewise cable B so uh, whoops hold on yeah yeah misclick there we go and well uh, this is how I set it up uh, these are both going to uh, well, all those four signal chains are going to A1 and A2. A1 is my hardware mixer. That's what I'm hearing here. And A2 is my television. Because sometimes I just like to, well, sit back, not rely on a headphone, and just watch a movie or something. Anyways, uh, let, me, let me explain how I got uh, all these virtual cables uh, by the way all the links to every downloadable thing will be in the description just let me mention that uh, so how do we route to these let me let me show you you right click here you open your sound settings and then uh, excuse me there will be a button that's called this uh, excuse my very Turkish windows uh, this one will be in English of course but it, gen it, it just says uh, device preferences or something like that. I don't know the exact translation. If someone can write that in the comments, that will be, that will be nice. I click that. It gives me this screen. Uh, let, let me just make it easier to see without my face plastering all over it. There we go. Uh, so here I have, let's see. My main desktop out output is VB Audio Virtual Cable. That is this part right here. Uh, that is the hardware input one, VB Audio Virtual Cable. The second one is my music player. I am directing my music player into voice mod output virtual cable. That's this one. And the third one, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, OBS. I I'm directing every sound OBS makes as VB Audio Cable A. That is the hardware input three, and then lastly Google Chrome. Like uh, if I'm gonna click a link on a video or anything uh, in the chat, I just mute this so I have this separately. VB Audio Cable B. You can literally add any application and have it direct to any audio cables here and you can all record these separately on OBS so it's it's really useful if you want to have a gameplay plus microphone only or gameplay plus microphone plus music plus discord only you can do that you can record them and mix them all separately even after uh, even, even during the post production you can have a four channel audio anyways uh, let me let me get into how I set uh, how I manage these in Stream Deck. That is the important part, after all. So let me click my Stream Deck. Let me show you. Uh, this is my Stream Deck. Well, I'm gonna fill it up. I know, I know, RGB. I know. So I have a folder called Mixer. I need another folder because this is just not enough. Or I don't know for a gato to make a bigger Stream Deck or something. I don't know. Uh, anyways, let me let me walk you through this. 
uh, on the bottom part these four buttons mute uh, these separately so if I press de desktop it will mute like that and I have my volume buttons right here this is for desktop this is for music this is for alerts this is for Chrome so I press minus on desktop it lowers it by two decibels every time I press it or if I hold it it will uh, just go up and down uh, every second uh, there is current well how do how did I set these up let me show you you click more actions on your stream deck software and then go down or go up I don't know oh there it is bar raider voice meter integration you install this you get the plugin now how to set these buttons up let me show you let's let's make new buttons I'm gonna I'm gonna show this for hardware input one and explain how you can change the code to apply that to another uh, strip like uh, these inputs are called strips in the API so let me get to it I drag and drop a voice meter advanced click slash long click here here it is now how do I okay uh, this this might look uh, scary at first but it is very friendly uh, I'm just gonna hand out you the hand hand you out the code and then you will know what to do so the code for increasing volume is this strip uh, something bracket something zero uh, dot gain space plus equals space three and then whatever is after three I'm not good at with English sorry so you copy this and then you paste this on your key press area like this I also like to hide this uh, voice meter value to and make it user defined so it looks cleaner now we got a now we got a volume increase button on stream deck let's make it a little more more beautiful let me add this button I know it's not exactly well I'm not a designer sorry I'm the tech guy so if I press this check this area out if I press this button it will increase the volume of this strip by three decibels every time I press it isn't that amazing let's make a minus version of this so I cl I copy this code go down make another advanced click slash long click paste this make this plus into a minus so it will be minus equals three right and then I make uh, I have prepared a minus button beforehand so let me just add that there we have it now we have a minus three I press it uh, rinse and repeat for every strip and uh, that's how like if you change this to strip one like this if you change it to strip one dot game blah blah uh, minus equals three then it will instead make the hardware input two volume down press it press 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 there we go and then we have voice meter mute and unmute this is for completely muting strips and buses uh, by the way uh, when you set these up uh, a word of warning once you set them up don't click them like set them up and never touch them on your software because for some reason there is a bug and it resets as I'm making this video I have this bug if bar raider fixes it that'll be amazing thank you very much bar raider anyways we have voice meter mute slash unmute I will choose toggle mode for mic type strip number zero and then I'll have a speaker as a microphone or you can have on and off something something like this like uh, on my mixer I literally have those like headphone and TV like that anyways and now I click it the the settings are reset I'm gonna make these again toggle mode strip zero on and off now I press this it will mute here I press it mute it 
I press it again, unmute it. And you can make this for buses as well. Let me show you. So if you make it for bus, bus zero is your A1. So whatever you chose as an output on A1, it's gonna like this. I have the bus zero. This is A1. I click it. I'm gonna keep the mouse off so no one says fake. I press it, mute it, press it, unmute it, mute it, unmute it. So you can uh, also block entire buses. And well, there's a lot of fun stuff that you can do with it, but uh, this is basically the starting point of having a 100% digital mixer that can uh, that you can actually control with a stream deck i'm loving this so far i think there is oh yeah and uh here's here's another fun thing i can show you so there there is something that says long click right so i add a long click uh if i add a long click uh gain right here like minus gain equals three right it will let me just put this up real quick. So if I add another here, another minus three long press, I don't have to keep pressing it. I can just hold uh, this button right here and it will keep lowering the volume by three decibels for every second I hold it. I don't have to keep pressing it. I can just hold it. That's something if you if you don't want to wear out your Stream Deck keys by, you know, repeatedly pressing them for uh, fidgeting with them or anything. That's also something you can do. And yeah, I guess we're mostly done. I will drop the links uh, down below for everything you need to get this going. And uh, also, let me also show you, of course, the OBS uh, part of it. So if you go to OBS settings and then go to audio here, let me show you. So my desktop audio device is this, but uh, you know, the, the fun part is here, mic audio device. You can have three of those. Like I can, I can have a, like this is generalized. This is my preference. But if you want to split everything, you can have cable A output here, uh, cable output here, cable B output here. Now you have three separate uh, mic auxiliary audio device. You can reroute your microphones through this as well. And now you have literally just add, heck, add something here, have five different audio devices that you can mix it. Just, just go crazy. Just literally go crazy. By the way, I don't know if that cut my sound or anything. Whoops. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't apply. Good. So uh, that's that's basically it. My very ghetto, very first tutorial video. Thank you for watching. I didn't even bother adding a music. This could have been so much more presentable. Eh, not gonna add it. Take care, guys. Uh, see you next time, or I guess, I don't know. I hope you liked the video. I hope it is useful for you. That's all I want. Take care. See ya.